Hi, welcome back. This is my third video, the final video on the data restrictions. So in the previous videos, I have covered on restricting the decimals and the other stuff. So please do refer my previous two videos. This is my third video on the cell restrictions for two or more cells. So as I showed you in the previous video, uh, this restriction is in done on this cell. So there are two different formulas which we have used one was this one another was this one. Now I have already done for this one. So suppose this is the formula. This is the input message and this is the formula being used. Not is blank. And uh, if you can you can just copy and you can just paste Yeah, so once you paste the value, you can go and check the data validation, which is not copied. So it's better to copy, or you can just try to pull this thing over here. And now, if you go and check, you can see that things have been copied. Now this is for the this restriction is on this this particular data. So if I try to enter anything, so it gives me restriction. So now if I enter this and then I enter anything, so now it allows me to do that. But in the same way, I want to have a restriction over here. So once there is, there is a there is some entry in these two cells, then only it has to be fulfilled. Suppose if I delete this and this, and now if you can see, if I put anything, that's allowing me. So I have to restrict this one. I don't want any values to be entered unless and until these both have been filled. So like I showed you in the previous formula was not is blank. So again, we will try to do add an and in this. So we will try to put the formula here in the beginning. And I will be starting here from the beginning. So this also can be done. So I will be doing it here from here. So this will help in all when I copy and paste. I can just put in the string and I can get the, get the things copied. And suppose if you want to type the formula, it is like, Not in the parentheses is blank, and I open the. And what I'm going to show you is, I'm going to copy here, so it will be this one, and I'm going to put F4, one, two, three times, and close the parentheses. So this is for one time. Now, if I want to have more than one cells, I just not put another not. So if I just put another not in the parenthesis is blank. And now I'm to have in this one. I'm going to put F3 times F4 close and enter. So it is giving me some operation is missing in the parenthesis. So if I try to close this again, it's giving an error. So the best part is that if you want to do that for one and more, you have to add on and formula and and the function which can help you. So this is logical one and this is logical two. And now I'm going to close this. So it's going to both up. So now if anything you can see here. So if anything is missing, it's going to give a false. Now if I bring this back, and if I do it to remove here, so it will give false because and means supporting both of them. So I'm going to copy this formula from here. It escaped. Select the cell, 
go to data validation from data, data validation, and here go to custom. Please uncheck this, and here we can paste. So this is D3 and F3. So now if you have a restriction and if you want to check this, game restriction, but I want it to know what actually is the issue because many people will not be knowing this. So I'm going to copy this. So this is going to be D and column F. So I'm going to just change it there. So if it has get go to this. Go into the message alert. Type this. If you remove this, the message is gone. So paste it here. And I'm going to make D and F. T and F. Again, I don't want to copy. I don't want to type all this. So I will be copying this. Copy. Go to the cell, go to data validation, and here paste. So I'm going to mention it as below. So I'll put a colon and specs in detail one. So this is a corner here. And again, I'm going to mention brand. Brand or item, I'm going to mention. Or if you want, you can put it time also. So it will help on knowing that what actually because many people will not understand. So when now when they try to type anything, it is enter. So it is going to specify then that the specs detail and column first is going to bank. Sorry, it should be bank. Let's just change it again. And now if you try to see, if you want, you can put a space also again. If you think that this is something more again, you can see now. So you can see how it changes. So if you try to retry, also it's not going to allow you. So now let's see what is going to happen when we have both. So I'm going to put this as five. And I'm going to type here in thing. It has come to true now when I'm trying to do this. So it's allowing me now. So in the same way, I'm going to do this for again for here. Now you can see even if there is things and uh, but there is no value because I have to have a copy column first. So if I don't have the column also, so it's not restricting me. So if I remove all this, the same thing, I don't want to copy again and again. And one do is already and is there. So just I want to copy this function, copy. And in the, you see after two brackets, after two parentheses, I'm going to see it in the logical. So I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to post control V. And this time my formula will be for not for D or F, it is going to be for H3. So I'm going to change this or I can select here or I'm going to change this to H3. I'm going to hit enter. So extra form of comma was required, it was done by Excel automatically. So you can see that now it's even one still false even if i fill this if i fill this and then if i fill this now we need to now if i try to enter this the things are changing so how to imitate this i'm going to remove all this first again the best thing is just copy this formula In this case, select this, go to data validation from data. And here, go to custom. 
this this ignore the blank and here you have to copy so it is not allowing you to copy from here so you just have to So just okay, just remove this parentheses. So let's test the formula first before this. So it's giving that this is not matching. So other thing what we can do is we can go to data validation from here. And from here, error error alert, we can copy this thing. So to copy this. And again we go to that. And here I'm going to paste this. Now I have item three. So the item three will be like quantity. So I'm going to put quantity. And here also, come back here. Go to data validation again. Copy this. And here, data validation. Paste here. And now we have to mention D, F, and column H. And okay. So if you try this again. You can see it is in the below column, so it is going to show what in the columns you expect in details, brand, item, and quantity. And again, any of them are not filled, also, it is going to give you the same error if I type here. If I go directly here, also, so it is not going to restrict me. So, before that, then you type here. Now you can see all the things are going fine and everything is in a happy. Okay, so once you have restricted the cells, you can I'm going to show you how to restrict the cells. So you have to allow this data to be filled. So this thing should not be. So when once you select all this, go to home. You can go from here also. In production, so this is going to lock all the cells. Now, if you lock this, the view to protect the sheet, and you put any form, and then you put a form. So, this is going to restrict you completely. So, what we have to do is unprotect this. So the areas which are not should not be required to select this, select this. Select this, select this, and now go to home. You can go from anywhere. You can F1 also. Now unlock this cell and do OK. And go to review, protect the sheet. You can put any formula, so any password. So now this has been just. These things have been restricted. So these things have been restricted, but these are not been restricted. You can see, you can remove them. You can do the thing else. So if I want to add anything, this has to be copied down. So try to remove all this first. So the things have to be copied down, so you can just pull it down. And here also you can pull it down. And here also you can pull it down. Now if you want to try, it's not allowing you. Now if you want to try here also, if you want to select, and if you want to type something, it's not allowing you. So let's start from here. And, and now try to put a new key. If you want to try here, you 
to go to data. First, we have to answer if we have to check that. Go to the data, data validation. Now check it. Yeah, so you have to put it properly. Now if you review and protect the sheet. Okay, now this is done. So I'm going to check on here. So we are so we have to fill here. You can see this. So, so again here, if you try to put anything, it's going to restrict you. This is the way you can make a template and restrict the size and all. I hope you find this video useful. You know, making a lot of tendering and all. So this tendering, you can help restrict the data size. And when you want to add it without adding, uh, we have to fill this. And if you have so please give me a comment if you have any issues and uh, this is the topic code. This is the third video on this. So I would like to thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.